everyone. My name is Christina with the Demonstration Theaters Department at Carnegie Science Center. And welcome to our Something to Watch series, where we explore fun and educational science videos for kids, parents, and teachers. Now, I'm currently in our body stage presented by Allegheny Health Network, but today we're going to explore a little bit of food investigation science, all about fruits and vegetables. This really fun experiment is sponsored by Del Monte Foods and Growing Great. Come along on this journey with us as we learn about fruits and vegetables. Alrighty friends, so today we're going to be learning a little bit about fruits and vegetables. So fruits and vegetables are really important for us humans to eat. They give our bodies nutrients to help us grow big and strong. But we want to learn a little bit about how our plants grow today. So plants grow through cycles just like humans do. We call the way that plants grow the circle of plant life. So let's start at the beginning. When we want a plant to grow, we have to put something in the ground called a seed. We cover that seed up with some dirt, we make sure it gets enough water, and that'll help start our circle of plant life. After our seed, our plants will begin to grow roots, which are really important. The roots help us to get all of the nutrients from the ground and also help our plants to be stable in the soil. Now, after our roots, our plants will grow stems, which reach high up to the sky, and they help our, our plants to be nice and strong and sturdy. Now, after our stems, our plants will grow leaves, and leaves are really important for our plant. Our leaves help us to get vitamins and nutrients and food for our plant, but it also helps it to get water and sunshine to help it grow. Now, after leaves, our plants will begin to grow flowers, and some flowers are really pretty to look at, but there are other flowers that we can actually eat. Now, after flowers, some plants will actually produce fruit, which are really good for us to eat. Now, if people don't eat the fruit, sometimes that plant can go back down to the ground, and the seeds that are inside the fruit will get covered up with soil, and that cycle will start all over again. We'll go from seed to root to stem to leaf to flower to fruit. That's why we call it a circle of plant life. Okay, so now since we know a little bit more about how our plants grow, we're going to do a really fun matching experiment. We're gonna see if we can match the itty bitty seeds to their grown up fruits and vegetables. Come on and check it out. Alrighty friends, so now we're gonna do some scientific investigation. Over here we have our first part in the circle of plant life, our itty bitty tiny seeds. And over here we have some grown up fruits and vegetables. Let's take a closer look at some of these seeds. First we have some yellowish colored seeds. We have some itty bitty teeny tiny white seeds. We've got some round and a little bit lumpy green seeds. We have some flat seeds over here. Some whitish with some brown marks. Looks a little bit like bean seeds over here. And over here we have teeny tiny brown seeds. So now we have the grown up fruits and vegetables to look at. We have zucchini, corn, beans, peas, carrots, and tomatoes. Now put on your scientific thinking caps, use your scientific observation skills, and see if you can figure out which teeny tiny seeds match these grown up fruits and vegetables. Alrighty friends, so do you think you have it figured out? Let's take a closer look. We'll start with something simple, our corn. If you take a close look at our corn, you can see these parts, they're called the kernels. That's the part that we usually eat when we eat corn. It probably looked a lot like these yellow seeds here. These yellow seeds match our corn kernels because these kernel seeds are the seeds to our corn plant. Great job. So that one was pretty easy. But let's move to these here. So these vegetables are peas. And if you have had peas before, you maybe have eaten it from outside the shell or even with the shell. And you'll notice that the peas match these little seeds here, the green, the green rounded one. So after our peas, we'll move to our beans. You've maybe eaten green beans before, but when you open up your green beans, you'll notice that inside there are teeny tiny seeds. 
that look a lot like these white and brown seeds here. That's because these two go together. Now, after our peas and our beans, we'll go to our carrots here. The carrots, we actually don't eat the seeds. The seeds for carrots come from the flowers. And these seeds are teeny tiny. They're the little brown seeds here. Now, after our carrot, let's take a look at our zucchini. Now, our zucchini is in the same family as pumpkins and gourds. That's probably why when you were looking at the seeds, you may have thought these looked a little bit like pumpkin seeds. They're actually zucchini seeds. But these friends are in the same family. And last but not least, we have our tomatoes. If you were to cut open a tomato, you would see teeny tiny seeds inside that looked a lot like these white seeds here. You typically eat these when you eat a tomato plant. Wow, great job investigating, my friends. You all did some fantastic scientific work. Great job, everyone, with our fun scientific investigation experiment today. Thanks again to Growing Great and Del Monte Foods for sponsoring this really fun science experiment. We hope you enjoyed our watch video today, but for more fun things to watch, things to read, and things to do, hop on to CarnegieScienceCenter.org. Thanks again for joining us, everyone, and we hope to see you soon at Carnegie Science Center. Bye.